When modifying game animations for use in the Unreal Engine, you probably want to avoid going back and forth between the Unreal Engine and external animation software. With my MoCap Tools plugin, you can limit, if not remove, the need for the back and forth nightmare. Maybe you get your animations from Mixamo, or you get them from Ubisoft, or you generate animations using Motorica, or you create animations using Move AI, or maybe you use Xend. Whatever the case may be, you can use my plugin to trim animations, blend the animation ends to create looping animations or simply to create animations that transition well into each other, modify the root bone, constrain IK bones to FK bones, generate root motion curves for distance, speed, velocity, and acceleration, and much more. Again, rather than dealing with the back and forth between Unreal and animation software, my plugin can be used, particularly for the prototyping phase when high iteration speed is desirable. Let's start from scratch and apply my plugin to a Ubisoft animation that can be found in the released LaForge dataset. First, we look at the animation. There are 7,134 frames. There is no root motion, and the character does not run along any predefined paths, but is rather performing freestyle movement. Now, what is our goal as we prepare to see a simple demonstration of my plugin? Let's make an illustration of what we have going on. First, we draw the left-handed coordinate system used in Unreal. Then we place the character. Then we draw a representation of what the Ubisoft animation trajectory is, or rather, what it will be after constraining the root. This type of trajectory is not generally desirable in game development. We desire controlled paths, so to speak. So in this proof of concept example, we will trim the single long animation into eight cut clips, and the trajectories will be constrained to move perfectly along the Y axis. The particular clips we'll create are Jog loop forward, jog loop backward, jog stop forward, jog pre-pivot backward to forward, jog post-pivot backward to forward, jog pre-pivot forward to backward, jog post-pivot forward to backward, and jog stop forward. Notice these are all aligned with the y-axis. With the goal clear in our mind, we make eight duplicates of the original Ubisoft animation, and we give those duplicates names that represent what the corresponding animation will be after our process is complete. We then open the MCT plugin. We'll trim animations first. We select the double cut option because we want to trim the animations in two locations, discarding the ends while preserving the frames within the interval. We apply the changes. Then we'll set the tool to apply a translational root constraint using the hips bone as the bone to constrain the root to. The default settings here are fine. Looking at one of our animations, we find it looks as we expect it to. It's not moving along the y-axis, but that's because we haven't made it do so yet. Let's fix that. Back in the MCT plugin, we align the animation along the axis we want it to move. This aligns the actual poses, at least in a rough sense, using the hips bone as reference. To illustrate, we have a trajectory where the hips positions at each frame are represented by the dots. A vector representing the current direction is generated between the first and last frame of the prescribed interval. Then the prescribed angle, 180 degrees for example, generates a vector representing the desired direction. The current direction is then rotated to align with the desired direction and the entire animation follows suit. We then align the root itself. In this case, we choose the same angles we use to align the animation. The root positions are then adjusted to be along the prescribed direction. Let's look again at the animation we looked at last time. The animation is moving along the world's y-axis and the root trajectory is perfectly aligned along that direction. Back in the MCT plugin, we set the root rotation to zero for all frames of the selected animations, and we remove the root bone offset so the animations have their first frame beginning at the origin. Taking a look at a looping animation, we see it now begins at the origin, but notice that the animation does not properly loop. There is a hitch when the animation starts over. We'll fix that with the MCT tool's blending capability. There are three blending options, but we'll use the default option here. The looping animations are set to blend with themselves, the first frame with the last frame. Other animations are set to blend to the designated frames of the match to animations. Settings can be adjusted, but the default values are kept in this example. Before checking on the animations, we'll select only a few of the animations and apply blending to the frames that have not yet had blending applied to them. Let's create an animation composite and add all the animations to that composite in the appropriate order. As can be seen, all the animations blend seamlessly into each other. Let's generate curves from the root motion. We'll leave the curve modes in their default settings. We'll check all the curve types, and for vector quantities, we'll have them be generated for the XY plane. 
Check looping for R2 looping animations. Set the locomotion state. Notice that since my pivots are broken into pre and post, the start and stop settings are used rather than the pivot setting. For the derivative method, rather than leaving it as finite difference, the Savitsky Golay approach is selected merely to show that it is a valid option within this plugin. Press apply. All the curves are present, as can be seen as we examine this pre pivot animation. Much more can be done with my plugin, such as root motion smoothing, constraining the rotation to the trajectory direction for forward facing animations, locking the root in place for a prescribed interval, constraining IK bones, etc. Thanks for watching, and I hope you will consider adding the MCT plugin to your Unreal Engine toolset.